Hi guys, welcome back to another Battle of the Foundation and today we are trying the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. So if you want to see my thoughts on this, you're in the right place. However, before we get started, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please just take a moment to go ahead and hit the subscribe button along with the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So if you want to see how this foundation turned out, just keep watching. Alright guys, again today we are trying out the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Now this comes in 40 shades. At Walmart you can pick it up for $10.44. It is a matte foundation just like the title says. And here are the claims that they have about this. So this one's got some unique claims. From your favorite CoverGirl foundation line comes a matte found formula that isn't drying or cakey. True Blend Matte Maid's formula developed with Flexi Hole technology that creates a strong yet flexible film on skin for durability and comfort, while the mattifying powders absorb oil and minimize pores for a soft matte flawless finish up to 12 hours of wear. So A, thank you for not saying this is good for 24 hours or 25 hours because we don't wear our foundation that long. Uh, again, comes in 40 shades that match most skin tones is flexible and comfortable feeling so light you don't even realize that you're wearing the foundation. It's supposed to be transfer proof wear that blurs pores and minimizes imperfections all day. Um, comfortable matte finish, oil free formula, suitable for normal to oily skin. So apparently this is good for all skin types. So as always I've gone ahead and I have all my serums, my creams, my uh, sunscreen on. I have color corrected under my eyes. I also have my primers on. Let's get the hair up real quick. Out of the way. So as always, I will do one half with a sponge and the other half with my Y6 Morphe Flat Top Kabuki Brush. So this does have one ounce in it, which is standard, and it does have a pump. I will also tell you this is my second time filming this. I had another video, um, actually I filmed three videos, and let me show you what happened to the memory card. Yes, um, Corella decided just because it was sitting on my um, end table that that was hers to go ahead and chew up because she doesn't feel the other 30 toys they have are enough for her. So I'm refilming that in a few other videos. Love doing that. Okay. is going in really really well very comfortable just like they say you forget you are wearing it because you don't really feel anything on your skin so let's see how that's looking I would say that's about a medium coverage because I'm still seeing quite a bit of my hyperpigmentation come through here. So let's go in on the other side and we'll see how um, the brush does and what type of coverage we get with that. I'm using one pump on each side, by the way. And I'm gonna go in and just tap that in first. I get the product evenly dispensed. All right. The brush side gave me much better coverage. It's doing a really good job with the pores as they talked about. So I'm going to go in a little bit in here, um, add a little more, quite a bit in here, but I'm going to use the brush this time and we'll see how we can build this up.
take this down my neck a little bit too. Especially since they say that this is supposed to be transfer proof, we'll put that to the test too. All right, let's take a close up. Look and see how this is looking. This is actually looking really, really good, you guys. Curious to see what it's going to do to my marionette lines because that's the one that is very common for foundation to kind of work its way into for me. It's still a little bit on the tacky side. But uh, let me let this dry just a little bit and then we're going to check and see how transfer proof this actually is. In the meantime, I'm going to take a few photos really close up so you guys can get a good idea of what it's looking like. Alright guys, I am back and it's been about five minutes so I've had a good chance to let it kind of dry down a little bit. I took some photos so let me go ahead and insert those right here. Um, as you can see, it does a really good job of just blending into my skin. It really does blur out the pores and it's not really sinking into any of my lines that bad. So I think once I get a little bit of powder on, it'll be um, a lot better. It's just the tiniest bit tacky tiniest bit. So I always powder. I follow the same thing every time I test out a foundation. So I know how it works with my primers, um, my sponges, my brushes, and also the powders that I use. So that way I can tell how a foundation is going to perform. So the one thing I do want to test before I go in and finish the rest of my makeup is it says it's transfer proof. So I have a white little makeup remover pad thingy, whatever you call these, and let's just press. Nothing. Press. Nothing. Maybe a teeny bit. Let's use the other end there. Oops. I don't know. What do you guys think? By the way, what do you think about this new nail color? Oh my god, I fell in love with this when I went to get my nails done the other day. It is, it's loud, and I love it. I love it. Anyway, um, yeah, I'd say so far it's transfer proof, so let me go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and let's talk about this foundation. I think it's done a fabulous job. It indeed does feel like I've got nothing on my face whatsoever. I went in very lightly and powdered it, and I used my Marc Jacobs Finish Line Powder. I love this stuff. So I think it looks really good. It's just a little bit creasing in here. So forehead's looking really good. It doesn't feel tacky in any way, shape, or form. So I'm really liking this. So if it holds up throughout the day, it's going to be one that's definitely going to be a keeper for me. I think the color is just perfect for my skin. Perfect match right there. Oh, and I don't even think I told you guys what color I got. Um, I am in L4, which is, no, I'm sorry, L40. Classic Ivory. So that's the color I'm in. So I really like this. I think it's one that would just be great for all skin types. Again, it's a matte finish. So if you don't like a matte finish, you're not going to like this one. Um, but if you do like a matte finish, I wouldn't say it's super matte either. It's just, um, it's not drying at all. It's not cakey. It's, it's holding up to its claims so far for me. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel before, please take a moment to go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the bell notifications. So you'll be notified when I upload new videos. That's every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And just for good kicks and giggles, I throw in a Weird Wish Wednesday every once in a while, too. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, concerns, anything like that, feel free to leave those down below and I will love um, responding to you guys. So until next time, I love y'all and bye-bye.